Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new stream on Thursday the 8th of March. Not only is a brand new stream, we're also going to be playing a brand new game. This is called Fake Colours and this was another gift from Aaron uh, along with the Howler. Um, so you'll also as well go and try something a little bit different today. Uh, my camera is like in a bit of a different position, so it's more to the side. Um, just trying to out, let me know your thoughts and feedback as to the position of the camera Let me uh, and the way I'm facing. Uh, yeah, just let me know, guys, basically. But yes, we are going to jump into this right now. Uh, don't really know a lot about it other than it's like R RGB based. I don't know if mouse control is part of the game or not. I don't know. I don't know. All right, there are three cubes you can choose to move, red, green, and blue. These are called moving cubes. Select each cube by clicking on the color or press N to switch to another cube. To control the cube, you press the arrow keys or use WASD. Navigate each cube to the corresponding color to complete the level. There are four paths you could possibly interact with, red, green, blue, and white. You cannot interact with black squares. Red square, only the red cube can move in these spaces. Green square, only green cubes. And blue cubes, only blue cubes. White spaces, all cubes can move in these spaces. All right, seems pretty, hey, achievement unlocked, noob. Seems pretty um, self-explanatory. So we use N for the time being, I guess, to kind of navigate around those cubes. Uh, mouse point is not showing up, which is good. Hey, we, we did it, we done did it. All right, so. Let's move on to the next level, shall we? Okay, so... Interestingly, are we going to get like another tutorial? Moving cubes can climb over each other to form a temporary bridge. If a moving cube is on top of another cube, it cannot climb down unless the square underneath has the same colour. You cannot move a cube if there is another cube on top of it. You can always accelerate the camera at the beginning of a level by clicking and holding the left mouse button anywhere on the screen. Okay, fantastic. So, what we're gonna to wanna to do then is this. Move this one across, move this one over, move this one over here, just like that, okay. So far, so good. Pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory so far. Okay, level three started. So, uh, press either E or R to rotate the camera around the selected cube. Try using this if your view gets obstructed. When a cube is placed on top of another cube, you will need at least two spaces available on the board to be able to move the cube down. Either side, yeah, right, okay. If you, uh, yeah, so if you put one, like in the, as we can see behind the text, like the example of the, um, uh, this side, um, Blue technically doesn't have two um, right at the edge, but I, I'm pretty sure I know how to do that. If you climb on top of another cube, consider the distance between the parts for an accurate evaluation of your moves. Okay, so let's first of all do something like this. Oh, so why, hold on, why, why couldn't I go down there? Okay, so now I can do that. Now I can do that. Now I can do... Oh, but I can't move that one back out of the way. Oh, I can go like that, though. Okay. There we go. All right. I got it. I'm not sure why, I guess I, I guess you need two spaces to be clear to, to swing down, I guess. That's what it was saying, and not like two spaces either side. Okie dokie. Any more tutorial information for us here? No. Okay, we're on our own here. Excellent. So, let's move red. And then green. Then blue. Then green. 
Then blue, green, red. Piece of cake, piece of cake. Aaron does, does assure me it's going to get a lot harder real quick. Yeah, okay. So we're going to need to use blue to get the green one out, right? And then we'll want to do that. What's going on, B-Master? Hey, no worries, Aaron. It's all good. So then I'm going to need the red one to bridge the gap over here for the blue one, right? That's right. I guess the moves and the time you take is um, it's good. It, so far, I can I can see it. It's already starting to build in in complexity, so that's all good. Yeah, I'm just trying to trying something different, Aaron. That's all. Um, so yeah, let me know what you let me know what you think. Uh, I will happily move it back. I'm just like trying something like a little bit further out, a little bit more to the side, just something a little different. Okay, so. Get that one over there. We're going to need to do that. Time doesn't start until we start the level. So move the... So the only way to get the green out is to use the blue. Alright, so... Let's do something like... This. 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 And then then this okay we may need to use that one again uh, in a moment or two uh, what color was that? that's red okay so now we can take this one back Swap to green and bring green. Oh no, we need to bring the blue one back over it first. Mm, it's not as simple as that, though, is it? Of course it's not. Okay, so bring that one back. Take this one over here. Oh, but I can't move that one out, but I can move that one back. Now I can do that, that's right. But I'm gonna want to... Oh, sheesh. All right. All right, well. It was only an experiment. It was only an experiment, so hey, let's do this thing and stuff. There we go. Back to a bit of normality. Alright, so let's reset this puzzle. Let's reset the puzzle. And. So to get blue across, we need to use red. Oh, and then I can use the... Okay. Okay, so... Let's do... So if I get blue in a green in position, then oh, 
Oh, yeah. We do this. Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of this one. Flip this one over there. There we go. There we go. Jupiter unlocked. Rookie. Oh, my goodness. What are these? What are these things? Let's have a tutorial. Pass through the mini cubes to change the color from one to another. When you switch your cube's color, it can only move on the board to a square of its new color. Don't be fooled by the mini cubes. Make sure you always look at the square underneath them before making your move. When you switch your cube's color, it can only move on the board to a square of its new color. So, hold on, if I did this then... Yeah, that's it. I don't know if that was like the most efficient way, but yeah, that's um, that works. Hey, we got 100%, so that's got to be good, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, do the red one. And now we need the blue one. Then we can move green. I want to move green, please. Oh, yeah, but I can't because of that. So I've got to move this one first. Then move the green one. Now the problem is, it's going to try and be sneaky, but we need to just avoid the green one like that. And like that. Sweet. Two seconds, guys. Somebody's knocking. Swear down, somebody was like just like knocking on my wall or something, but nobody's here, so uh, it's all good. All right, moving on. So for the red, for the red one, we're going to want to have the blue one out. So I think move red up. That's not going to work, is it? Could change that to blue, move it across to give us two blue to move the green on, perhaps. Maybe that's what we need to do.
Hold on. Okay. Move this one all the way around again. That gets green safely to there. Then we'll do this. Boom! Okay. So we can pretty much take red all the way up to start with. Maybe we're going to want to. Hold on, let's restart. Maybe though we actually want to take the blue and turn the blue into red for a start. So if we were to do like this. Sure that really helps, but and great, we can do this. No, that one's stuck, so that's no good. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about them, to be fair. I don't know. I think having two of the same colour is definitely the way to go. And then from there, you see from there we'd almost need Okay, that gives us that bit of breathing space there. Gets that one out to there. But before we do that, we need to use that one over here, I guess. But we need to have the green one in place before we move any of these, right? So, bring the blue one back. I just did that too early, that was all I think that was wrong with that. There we go. So far, so good. Oh, there are. We had a lot of moves there. All right, so blue has got to stay blue throughout. Can't, or we, I don't think we can physically change the colour of blue anyway, so that's fine. Looking at the board, blue to move green. Red can pretty much move wherever it likes at this point in time. Alright, so, let's try. I 
But then, that's going to turn that into red, and we really don't want that as red. Okay, so that does that. But now we need to think about. So we can get. We can. Okay, yeah, so. We're gonna wanna do. That. That gets this one out. Then how do we get the... Then that becomes stuck, doesn't it? See, now that, that one's stuck, and we're in a stalemate situation. There's nothing we can do here. Alright, so... Let's return and think about this some more. Definitely we, what we did with the blue and the red is, is what we've got to do to get that around. So, it's the only way to get this green into play is to do this. So then I would assume, it's not always good to assume, of course, I don't want to do that, you donut. I tried doing that, but then I don't offer myself any way to... I think that's what I did the first time, isn't it? And then I got like that cube stuck. So I don't want to go that way. 
Yeah, that, see that cube's now stuck, so... That genuinely isn't the right thing to do. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I guess that one free. I feel like I'm right definitely up to this point at least. That's green. Then I bring this one over here. Then I bring this one over here. That then becomes red and drops over to here. So maybe I need to get the red one down. Over here first. I think I've done it. Ooh, that one, yeah, that's, that's getting complicated. That's getting complicated. Not bad though, 73%. Okay. So red is always red. Good to know. And we need blue to get red out. But before we do that, we need to get green out. Everything to 100%? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I didn't sign up for that challenge. Yeah, so that was get that. So I can... Interestingly, I can turn that one. Turn the red one blue and then that breaks the puzzle okay I think I need to keep the other one down here so I need two blues for a start Oh, I know it's possible. I know I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doubting that it isn't possible, Aaron, at all. But um, oh, what am I doing? Not thinking is what I'm doing. All right.
too many. Forgot that was a white tile. We did pretty well at that one, I think. I'm happy with the way that one goes. Achievement unlocked. Start up. Oh my goodness. All right, so I guess we're going to have like another tutorial area here. Cubes cannot climb up or down a height of two blocks. You can only climb other blocks that match your selected cube color. Sorry, guys. You can only climb other blocks that match your selected cube's color. I'll go away, Dicky. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, uh, so cubes cannot climb up or down at a height of two blocks. You can only climb other blocks that match your selected cube's colors. New levels now consist of more than one layer and sometimes your view gets obstructed. In this case, recommended you patrol the area using one of your moving cubes. All right, so let's see if we can put this into practice then, I guess. So. This is the thing we can't do. This is the thing we should be able to do. Oh, yeah, but we can't go down from that height, can we? All right, I think I, I see what I need to do, I think. I think I see how to do what to do, but I'm not overly sure. Nothing like confidence, hey? Okay. Yeah, like what I just did, LV. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Welcome along to stream. Hope you are well. Okay. So now... I do this. Okay. <laughs> Sup, Deathwish? Everyone's coming out today. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I do not like the look of this. So we can put a blue... <laughs> Bus stop time. So we can put that and make that blue. That will at least get red across. Let's, let's try working with that for now, I guess. So, make that blue. Oh, yeah, but that's going to do that. Damn, didn't think about that, did I? Knock you such a fool. Alright, so then we can use the other one. Oh, I can't do that either. Okay. isn't it? Alright, so maybe that one needs to be blue as well. Maybe instead of going over the white area, we go over the blue area. 
but then I can't I can't go across there, can I? Alright. Hmm. Okay. So what if we tried this instead? Change that to green and get red over here. That's black tile though, can't go on black tiles. Well, crap. Maybe it's not all over. Can't do that because there's not two gaps there. Then I would need a red cube there. So, get that over to there, but I can change the color. I don't want to change the color. I feel like I need two blue cubes. See, I can't drop that down to there because then I lose that, don't I? I can't move the green one out because it's it's trapped, it's wedged in there. So I would have to do this instead. need that one to be down to there. I got no, I, I've got to take the red one the other side. The red one has to go the other side because A that's where the red path is and B there's no way to pass the red cube on the left hand side here. So that's green. So move the green. We can't move the green there. So then we're going to have to use the blue as the green to allow us to move this one to here. But now I would need a blue. Make everything white. Yeah, job problem solved. You see, the issue here is that there's not two blocks in front of it, so I can't rotate that one into there. Okay, so that would mean that would suggest to me I need to bring the green one in the bottom corner here. Sorry, the red one in the bottom corner here. So where the blue one is currently. So we do this, but I can't rotate that into there. So, what if I did this and this, then use the blue one to turn into green. But that doesn't really help. Or does it? Actually, it might help. No, because then we're in exactly the same box. Oh, we the same thing as we did before. Jeez, come on, Nock. What are we doing? What are we doing here? 
keep hitting the wrong keys as well. So what if I did this? Hold on. Turn that that colour. Turn that that colour. Completely screw everything up. Yeah, see now I can't solve it because I've just completely messed that one up. Yeah, you can't move on Black Deathwish. And there always has to be a two gap space to move in front of. So you can't move into a space where there's like, like where the green and if the red was on top of the green, like for instance now, I can't move into that white space because you need two spaces ahead of you to actually drop one in. So. Which is uber frustrating. So I just keep going back to the same scenario over and over again. I'm not getting frustrated. Uh, I've just screwed myself so I can't get back to green now. I can't get green one back. Hold on. Oh, I can't move on top of the... Yeah, if that was white, that'd be... Okay, so... What can we do different? Because we just, we're just ending up here doing the same thing over and over again. We can't move green into there. We can move, obviously, the blue to green. Mm -hmm. 
We don't want to do that because we'll lose both. We'll lose access to the green if we do that. I need that one to be green, blue. So I can get onto there. Well, that screwed everything. Well, crap. The only other thing Quite simply, the green has to be green. The blue ha sorry, the blue has to turn into green. This has to turn into blue. And then it can turn into green. Then I would need blue to go all the way across there. There's definitely no way to turn that one back to red, is there? There's no other red cubes. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Alright, so what if I did?
Yeah, yeah, but I can't then go. I can't then go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't get this one down. I was thinking, what if I took this one along the long, the long way round? The only way to bring the blue one into play is to turn it into green. That's that's just what it is. So that would leave us a green to play with there and there. So then what if we had something like... something different. Okay. Cut the errand. That was tough. Sixty-two percent, hundred and twelve moves. All right, so probably time for one more, and then we'll probably have to call it for today. But hey, we got through fifteen levels, right? That's good, I guess. So my instant first reaction to a move would be this and this, that to there. What have we got? Red's got to stay. Is that halfway through? Is it 30 levels, Deathwish? Man, you know more than me. Red has to stay. So, no way to get that one across there without doing anything to that. That one now becomes trapped. So, we've effectively screwed ourselves. Excellent. I know Aaron said these games weren't particularly long.
So we have all three colours though. It doesn't matter what we do about colouring here. We can... I just noticed that. I'm, I missed... Um, first off there. So that's a blue. But I've just done the same as what I did before, haven't I? Exactly the same. Bravo, knock, bravo. I said that really posh as well. Bravo, bravo. Good show. Anyway, enough of that. Is that? Oh, so it's got to go in from the side. So green's going to want to go to blue, I think. red. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that as well. Can't do anything with that. That locks that one in place now, and I can't move it. No! Disaster. Disaster. Green, blue, then blue to green. do that and I <laughs> D 
the afterthought of Death Wish 808. I'm just saying random things. They're probably not very helpful, but I'm saying random things. Than that. That was progress, though. That was a bit of progress. I felt. Turn that to green. So I can't draw that down, so I'd need that already to be blue on top of there. Bring that down, bring it across. I thought it was progress. I need a blocker. Can drop down there.
So I could do that, but I need to get the blue. Turn green to red. Oh, and then I can do this. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. What have we got there? Green. So, roll it back, drop it all the way in. So now I need a green, though. Maybe I need to... Maybe I'm not done with this red just yet. I need a blue to get that one out, right? So... only come out with a Essentially screwed this up. More than likely. Because I now don't see a way. I don't see a way to get that into there. Has to be a blue. Quickly, because I am running out. I have run out of time. Let's try and do this again. I think Deathwish was telling me that I hadn't necessarily failed, but a little bit too late for that now, boy.
Oh wow, I didn't think about that at all. I can't remember what I did! It's a disaster. Oh, actually, didn't I do something like this? did. That's fantastic. Clearly, I can't remember what I did then to get into that previous state. <laughs> What's going on, PP? Can I call you that? Poor Bonky. Sorry. What's going on, poor Bonky? <laughs> I have to remember not to call you that. <gasps> Get my PP. Anyway, enough of that. Um, yeah, so. must have done this. I have so forgotten what I've been doing here. Was it something like that? No, that can't be it because now everything's just... Everything's broke. Everything done did broke. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm going to have to leave it there for today, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll be back um, trying to solve this one tomorrow. As always, links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. Thank you very much indeed for tuning in. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.